Hey guys, welcome back to Playground Sessions. I'm Phil, and today I'm bringing you one of my all-time favorites. We're gonna be learning how to play the main riff, the main theme from A River Flows In You by Yuruma. We're gonna be looking at the Playground Sessions advanced level arrangement, which means this is basically the exact transcription of the recording of him playing this. So we're going to break this down. I'm going to show you the right hand, the left hand, and then we're going to put them together. But first, let me ask you guys a question. What's your favorite genre to learn here on YouTube on our channel? This is a classical piece, a contemporary classical piece. Sometimes I show you jazz. We do a lot of pop. We do a lot of classic rock. So leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of genre you want to see more of. Or you could even request a specific song. And every request we get here on YouTube, we put onto a list. So you request a tune, especially if enough people like it or enough people request the same tune, we're definitely gonna do it. Let's look at this right hand part. Now this is the advanced level arrangement. A lot of times we'll do intermediate or rookie level arrangements on YouTube, but today we're doing advanced. So this is for you advanced players out there. So I'm not gonna spend as much time breaking down every single note, every single rhythm. What I wanna mainly do is just look at the overarching stuff that we wanna know before jumping in, and then we'll do it right at our medium tempo. First key signature, three sharps. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Time signature, 4-4. Four, four. We've got a lot of 16th notes in this song, which means our tempo can be slow, but our hand is still gonna be playing fast rhythms. Now we're mostly gonna be here in this A major octave position. Thumb on A above middle C, pinky on the octave above that. We're gonna toggle a lot between that high A and other notes in this position. Okay. Now halfway through this section, we actually change positions. We go down a little bit. Down to this position here, which is a second inversion A major chord. So basically we're between here, this A major chord in root position with an octave A above, and then this A major second inversion position. So what I wanna do is play this at our medium tempo of 50 beats per minute, I'll walk you through it that way, and then I'll try it one time full tempo. Play along with me, or pause and rewind until you have this down. Starting with rest. Now change down. Now back up. So again, a lot of 16th notes, a lot of tied rhythms, a lot of syncopations, and a couple of hand position changes. Review that with me as many times as needed. But now I wanna do it one time full tempo, which we're doing at 74 beats per minute. And then I'll show you the left hand part. One, two, set, go. Rest. All right, there it is. Let's talk about the left hand. We're outlining four chords in the left hand. F sharp minor. And we're gonna play that with five, two, one. In fact, all of this pattern is the same. Five, two, one. We're gonna do root, fifth, and then a high note. Sometimes it's the octave. Sometimes it's gonna be the octave plus a third. So we're actually outlining a 10th instead of an octave. But this first one, F sharp minor, we're doing F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. Next we see a D add two. Really, this is a D major chord. But instead of playing the D on top or the F sharp on top to make it a D major, we're gonna play the two scale degree of the key of D, which is E. So this is a D add two. We're gonna do D, A, E. All intervals of fifths. Next we have an A major chord, and we're actually gonna play this 10th now. So that means A, E, C sharp. By the way, I'm holding all of these down so you can see the shape, but when we play it, we're gonna do them just one at a time. But of course, if you use your sustain pedal, you'll get the same effect. Our fourth chord is E. And here we're gonna do an octave and a fifth, so E, B, and then another E. 
Now the next four chords are the same chords, but we're actually going to outline them slightly differently. So we do F sharp minor, that's the same. D add two is the same. Rhythm is a little different. We're not going to play that extra D. But then A, we do our tenth, and E, we actually do our tenth as well. That's a G sharp. Now that looks like a big stretch, but remember, we're not going to be holding all of these down at once. We're going to play E, slide to B, slide up to G sharp. And again, using that sustain pedal can help connect all those notes. So let's play through this at our medium tempo, 50 beats per minute. All right, we've got a whole measure of rest to start. That's it. So try that with me a handful of times. When you feel comfortable with it and your hand is feeling good, let's do it at full speed. Now remember, I'm using my sustain pedal through that, and I encourage you to do the same. But when you're playing it, don't forget to pick it up and put it back down in between each of those different harmonies. The trick to remember there is when your hand goes down, your pedal comes up. When your hand comes up, your pedal's gotta go down. So remember that trick for the pedal. I think it's time to put these hands together. Do this very slow, do this a million times. This takes a lot of practice putting these hands together, but I'm gonna demo it for you here at half speed and then we'll do it at full speed to put the hands together. And don't forget, if you wanna learn the rest of this song, or a bunch of other songs, tap the card above to head to PlaygroundSessions.com and get our app. You see all my notes turning green when I play? Well, when you're playing along with the app, they're going to turn red if you get them wrong. So you'll be able to see exactly what sections need work. You'll also be able to work towards your high score, which is super fun. And we've got a ton of, ton of, ton of, ton of new music in there all the time. Way more than we have here on YouTube, so check that out. But here's Hands Together, medium tempo, 50 beats per minute. There we have it. So now, full tempo, and then you've got this main riff from River Flows In You by Yoruma. Give yourselves a round of applause. That was awesome. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.